guys, today I have a Whipple kit and I haven't done one of these in a while so I'm really excited. It is a parfait kit. I don't know if it's new or not but I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it looks really cute on the packaging. So I'm going to try to make it look as cute as this. Let's get started. Let's see what is inside. Here is the Whipple and this is not edible. This is not real whipped cream. Looks like we have some fruit pieces here. Strawberries and then the parfait cups. Some ice cream pieces and the nozzle. And more stuff. Oh, sponges for the parfait. I think this kit is a little bit old. The cups and the tip is yellowing. <laughs> First, I'm going to prep the fruit pieces. Actually, I think I need to cut these. Strawberries are halves, but the cherries have a stem that you can place in. That's really cool. Next, I'm going to knead the Whipple and make sure it's all mixed together and good. The instructions say to do it about a hundred times, but I think this is good. I'm going to take the lid off and there is a little seal in here, so just take that off. It comes with two piping tips, uh, but there's little cherry bits on my finger. A uh, five star tip and what was this, eight star? Yeah. I think. So, two piping tips and it doesn't really say in the instructions which to use for what, so whatever you prefer. I'm going to put, what was this one, the eight star tip? On. Yes. Okay. So the Whipple is ready. First I'm going to make the big parfaits with the little sponges. First I'm going to pipe a circle in the bottom here. Now I'm going to put the sponge in. Now I'm going to pipe another layer of cream around the edge. Go. And the next layer of sponge. Well, that's pretty cool, look at that. Looks like a real parfait. Now I'm gonna do a spiral on top. This is the nerve wracking part. The instructions say to do a big spiral. So I'm gonna go from the middle here and spiral out. I hate that when you get air bubbles. And then they want stars, so I suppose I could change the tip, but I am just gonna go with this. That. And then we'll do some stars here around the edges. And it is strawberry time. So I'm going to put the strawberry on top here and try to clean up the mess a little bit. And this is going to be a very yummy strawberry parfait. So in Japan they don't really have a difference between parfaits and strawberries. They call them all parfaits, but I found out that parfaits have yogurt and sundaes have ice cream. Oh, I did one star too many. Oops. We'll put a bead on there. First one is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and make the chocolate banana one next. Now, I think this is supposed to be chocolate sponge, but it's really black. It's not a brown sponge, but we'll work with this. Again, I'm gonna start with a layer of cream on the bottom, and then I'm gonna push the chocolate sponge in. Let's see if that cream looks all right on the bottom there. A little bit uneven, but there we go. All better. Now I'm going to put the yellow sponge right on top of it. <laughs> I don't think the black sponge is supposed to look like that. Here, I'll show you guys the photo. Can you guys see? It's that sponge, but it definitely looks brown in the photo and it's not as thick. So, a little different. <laughs> now I'm going to make a layer for the ice cream. They said to make a double circle, so let's do that again. Let's place the chocolate ice cream scoop right there. 
Okay, this is gonna be hard. I'm going to make a spiral on top here and try to make it look good. Ah! And let's place that cherry on top. How does that look? Actually looks okay. So I'm gonna put some cream for the bananas. One, two, three. This one looks really cute. Right there. It says to add more cream around the edges, but I'm running low, so I'm gonna save it to the end and try to make the little sundae cup first. I'm gonna start by piping a double circle again for the ice cream. This is going to be a strawberry sundae. I actually think I wanna give it a little more height. That looks better. There we go. Let's place this on top again. Much better. Now I'm going to make three little dollops. Whoops. First we have a little mandarin orange. Then we have this little Whipple character. I've never seen it before. Super cute. I'll put him right here. And then the little cherry. I'm going to do a dollop of whipped cream on top right here and then some around for decoration. How does that look? I don't think I'm gonna have enough cream to finish this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my chocolate banana parfait. I'm gonna switch the piping tip and see how different it is. This one's really yellow. Oh wow, that looks like whipped cream. I think I'm supposed to make a little more of a circle. That one looks good. And the last one. How's that? I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete it, but let's try and make the final Sunday. This will be a very parfait. Oops, the whole the bead probably shouldn't be showing. And we'll add a little green leaf here for color. There we go. And sprinkle it with colored beads. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. These kits are so much fun. If you would like to see more Whipple kits, leave me a comment down below. And please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading more and more videos like this and lots of other fun content. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!